Jordan Tower with JT News. Will Birdman and Little Wayne keep going through it and it's getting old, guys. They just gotta work this out, okay? Now, Birdman sent a clear message to Little Wayne that C5 is just never coming out, okay? Now, Little Wayne keeps going on these tirades at his shows. He just did it again at a community college. I'm not even gonna play it for you guys because you already know how it went, okay? He went, he went on a tirade saying, fuck cash money in their ass. And Baby just wasted no time. He said, you know what? Uh, I got two new projects coming out and you know, Carter 5 just isn't coming out, okay? He tweets out one that's uh, Birdman new album, Miss Gladys. He says that's coming out February 17th, 2017. And it's Rich Gang, Cash Money, no mention it. Remember he was going real hard with the YMCMB before. Everything was YMCMB when that shit was working, okay? But now he's more just on Rich Gang. He's preparing to shut down Cash Money somehow or some way. I could just see because he's rebranded this Rich Gang. Okay, which is kind of like a Young Money subsidiary of Cash Money. Okay, so Rich Gang is an extension of Cash Money. And then he has a compilation of Rich Gang, The Lifestyle, coming out the same day, February 17, 2017. And this is right after Wayne said, fuck Cash Money in the ass. Okay, so he's throwing shade Little Wayne's way. Uh, Birdman is gonna shelf this guy as long as he can, trying to burn him out. But you know, Wayne fans are gonna stick by him. Now, I would like to see Nikki's perspective on this. Uh, we've gotten Drake's, he stands by Little Wayne no matter what. He's almost out of his contract. He's almost fulfilled his whole contract <laughs> in a few years. I mean, Drake's a beast out here, okay? Uh, Nikki is far from completing her contract. I think she, she, I can't believe she hasn't dropped another album yet. Didn't we get an album from her? What was it, a year ago or two years ago? I think it was two years ago we got an album from Nikki. I mean, we got to wonder now, does she need Safari around to make an album? I don't know. But anyways, that's not even this topic right here, okay? Birdman's being sneaky. Uh, now, Wayne has alluded that funerals dropping soon so i'm assuming that's a mixtape okay he did that on a podcast and then he also said big announcements coming soon maybe he found a loophole to just go on and get out of his rocket you know get get out of his cash money thing and go on to rockefeller if i were him i would buy my way out of this because even though they owe me money I will, I, your freedom is priceless, okay? Like, he, he's not free to create right now and drop. He could easily drop two, three albums a year and make all that money back with Rockefeller. Plus, they could get him on a whole advertising campaign. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming he's already doing business with Rockefeller, you know, and Rock Nation behind the scenes. Because, look, he's popping up in commercials the past year, Samsung ads everything so i'm assuming they're they're plugging him in with these ads because he wasn't really doing ads before you know i think he did something for apartments.com something one of these like real estate things so he's 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 going in okay um a lot of people are clowning little wayne right now saying he's going to drop the best seizure of 2017 uh, i mean that's kind of crazy i mean why would you joke about this guy's seizures that could be cause him death but uh, Lil Wayne's been canceling shows lately. It's not looking good out here, man. I just, I just hope that, uh, I hope he moves on. And then uh, people, people are calling Young Thug the new improved Wayne. Uh, I don't know, man. This is just getting messy. I hope that, uh, I hope Lil Wayne can get out of his deal and keep dropping. What do you guys think? What do you think's going on here? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Let's have a conversation about this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.